Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to see how to interface an LED with the 8015 microcontroller by forming a different pattern. So this is something like learn while we play. So now we are playing like this. If you see in the pattern in the board, the ball is falling from the top. There are eight balls. One by one, the ball is falling into the sequence. It is something like abacus. So first ball is coming and falling there. Then after first ball falls, then second ball comes and uh, falls in the next on the top. Then the third ball comes down, and the fourth ball comes down. Then the fifth ball, then the sixth ball, then seventh ball, and then eighth ball. So this pattern is repeating, which is something like switching on the first device and keeping it on, and then switching on the second device and then keeping it on, and switching on the third device and keeping it on, switching on the fourth device and keeping it on. Similarly. All the eight devices are switched on in sequence in the flow like this. Any pattern can be done. This is how we can understand from this particular experiment. So if you look at the code for this, it's very interesting. So coming from the top to bottom means what? As like what we see in the previous uh, examples. Initially we are giving the logic one first, then then two, and then four, and then eight, and then ten, twenty, forty, and then 80. So this will make the first ball to come from the top to bottom. Then the second ball comes means what? Already the first ball is there means it is 8. 8 has to be there always. You see, for another 8 uh, data, 8 has to be there always because that means the first ball has come to the bottom which is MSB is 8. Something like this you see. So, so 81 is the second ball which is coming from the top. Then 82, second ball comes down. Then second ball come 84 means second ball comes down. 88 second ball comes down then 90 second ball comes down and then a0 second ball comes down then c0 c0 is nothing but the final point so 0 means c0 means 1100 0, 0, then 0, 0 second ball comes and stops so this second ball two balls are already there means c has to be maintained then c1 c2 c4 c8 and then d0 e0 so e0 means what 1 1 1 0 then 0 0 0 third ball stops so e has to maintain so then e1 then e2 then e4 and then e8 where three balls are there and the fourth ball is coming here means it will become four four balls means 1 1 1 1 means which is f then again f0 so f remains why because already there are four balls then f0 means f1 f2 f4 and then f8 so the 5 balls has come, when it is F8 means what, 1, 1, 1, 1 and then 1, triple 0. So this F8 means then F9 and then FA and then what is FA, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So 6 balls has come, so P0 equal FC means 6 balls has come down from the top only two balls so fd means what again the first the seventh ball is coming down fe means seventh ball also come so the finally the eighth ball has come so something like that you can form a pattern as per our wish and after some delay this pattern repeats okay so when you compile build and then when you download this code through Novartan uh, ic with the rs232 port from the host machine to the target machine we can update the code like this while going so when you press the reset button it is getting downloaded when it is getting downloaded then yeah, now it is getting downloaded after that you get a pass then you give enter means you are able to see this so this is how we can interface an led with 85 microcontroller so if you want to interface a seven segment display this is very interesting if you want to interface a seven segment display data is coming out from port 0 data is coming out from port 0 so this port 0 output can be taken out and then it can be given to the seven segment display input here so this is the seven segment display input here and then we can connect this and so like this we can make n number of patterns by connecting eight leds this is the first and foremost step yeah, starting if an engineer or if a, a student is going to start learning microcontrollers the first step what he has to do is 
connecting an LED with that some port and writing some code and downloading that code and then testing some patterns like this which makes them to learn while they play. So by learn while we play, this is one kind of uh, hardware experiment where we can learn while we play with this. So this this will this by playing this what we can understand. We know how to write the code C code C program by using Kyle IDE. We know how to create an hexadecimal file. We know how to download that hexadecimal file from the host machine to the target machine. We know how to interface an LED and we know how to switch on and switch off the individual LED which is something like control that's why the name controller control means what on and off yes i am switching on the led and switching off an led for a period of time so that's why i am able to control with the help of controller so the controller is in our control so in number of applications can be done if we are confident with this led interface